today we're going to learn how to read an architectural scale. And this is an architectural scale here. And we adjust the camera just a little bit. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to just make a series of lines and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read them with the scale so that we can kind of get a handling of how we do this. Okay, so let's take a minute to talk about the scale. So we have a bunch of different uh, scales on here. The 16 scale is a full scale. In other words, it's real life. But because it says 16, that means that there's it's showing 16 different uh, divisions between 0 and 1. So there's 16 divisions per inch. So the inch is broken in broken into a bunch of different parts here. You see the the longer line here is a half an inch. So you have one, two sections of that, or one over two. You have the quarter inch, which is one over four, two over four, or one half, three over four, and then four over four, or one. Then it's broken down into eighths. So you have one eighth, two eighths or a quarter, three eighths, four eighths or a half, five eighths, six eighths or three quarters, seven eighths, and eight eighths or one. Notice that, you know, we, we round up to the nearest, where we, ha we round it off to the nearest common denominator, and that is always an odd number. So in other words, we have, if I were just to look through this scale, and I'll put the scale down here, to look at it. So we have zero, and then we have one over 16. This is gonna be difficult to do. We have one over eight. Let me just write it down here. So we have zero, we have one sixteenth, we have one eight, we have three sixteenths, one quarter, we have five sixteenths and we have three eighths. Now notice that this top number is always an odd number. All right, so if we're talking about sixteenths here, we go one, three, five, what comes next? Uh, seven sixteenths, okay? And then we have a half. What's gonna come next? One, three, five, seven, nine sixteenths and so forth and so forth and so forth. So you need to learn how to read the full scale in this so that in, in real life, then we know how to read this. So 16th, 8th, 3 16th, quarter, 5 16th, 3 eighths, 7 16th, half, 9 16th, 5 eighths, 11 16th, 3 quarters, 13 sixteenths, seven eighths, 15 sixteenths, one inch. Okay, so if we were just to look on here and we basically line this up to zero over here, I'm gonna make that a little darker where you can see that. You can see the ends and all of these. And on the other end, okay. All right, so it's this one we're going to be uh, read on the full scale or 16. We'll line this up to zero, and then we'll read over here, and we have seven and three sixteenths of an inch. One, two, three. So that is seven and three sixteenths of an inch. 
So on the architectural scale, you'll notice that it's broken into a lot of different things. So the, you know, the whole scale here is one foot, 12 inches, one foot. Each one of these little sections here is also broken into inches. All right, so this is one foot on a one inch scale. This one here is a quarter inch. So that's one foot in a quarter inch scale. One thing that you have to really be careful of, you'll see that we're reading down the scale here on the one inch. We start at zero, we got 20. Well, wait a minute, how do we go from zero to 20? Well, let's just roll over here to the other end because on this side, it's half of what's on the other side. So if this is an inch, this is gonna be a half an inch. All right, so this is a half inch equals a foot. So we start this way, we've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, we're on the one inch scale. This is a, this is a one foot. So we don't count this one. We count one, two, three, four, five, six, and so forth and so forth and so forth. On this one, it's big enough that we can lay out inches. We have three inches, six inches, nine inches, and 12 inches. Each of these longer marks here, that's one inch, two inch, three, four, five, six. And then in between that, we have half inch and then quarter inch. So this scale here shows us quarter inch scale or a quarter, I missed it quarter inch increments on a one inch to one foot scale, all right? So this one is large enough that we can put quarter inches on. If we slide over here to the, to the half inch, you'll notice that we have one, two, three. Each one of these longest ones are three, six, nine. And then they're broken in, broken up into sections here. So we have one, two, three, but this one is so small that we, we can't show a quarter of an inch. The best that we can do is we can show half inches. So each one of these lines is a half an inch. Now let's go even further. Let's talk about the quarter inch. So this is a quarter inch per foot or quarter inch equals a foot rather, all right? So this one is so small that all we can show is three, six, nine, all right? So we've got the longer lines, but each one of these lines in here is one inch, all right? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's slide over to the half inch, or the eighth inch, rather. So on the eighth inch, we're now even smaller than ever. The only thing that we can show here is every two inches. So we start at zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So every one of these is only two inches. But this whole inch, the whole eighth here is equal to one foot. So when we read these scales, and I'll read it on an inch to start with. All right, so if I were to lay this to zero, and I look over here, it's falling somewhere weird, all right, in between it. So what we wanna do is we wanna slide this down to the nearest foot on an inch, okay? So that means we're gonna ignore these, these inner uh, middle portions here because they work off of the half inch. And we're gonna go to the nearest one inch. And, and this is gonna be five feet. And then we're gonna roll over here and we're gonna count here. Now my eyes are not as what they used to be. So uh, I have a little bit of a hard time. I guess I could get my handy dandy magnifying glass there and re use it to read by. All right, so whoop, moved the scale. So I'm on five feet and I'm gonna read over to the, to the foot mark and I have four and three quarters of an inch. Let's, let's go even further and see four yeah it's stuck between a half and a quarter so we could say it's four and five eighths if you want to get really t picky about it so five feet 
four and five eighths. So that was uh, that was a one inch equals one foot. Let's go down to the half inch. So we're just going to move to the other side here. Same thing goes. I put it at zero. It adds. It, it works out to something weird here. So I'm just going to slide it down to the nearest half inch. All right. So I'm looking at eight feet. Go to the larger one here. I have six, three, six, seven, eight. I have exactly eight inches. So this is looking at eight feet, eight inches. Okay, I hope you can see this. All right, so let's go a little smaller. Let's go, and that was, that was the half inch. So let's go down to the quarter. Then we'll go down to an eighth. And then we're gonna go up to three, and then we'll go to an inch and a half, and I'll explain that. Now we're down here to the quarter of an inch. Find your quarter inch on your scale here, and put it to zero. Ends on something weird. Move it over, we got 23 feet, okay? So remember that we're working on the quarter scale, so we don't count these smaller ones, we count only the ones on the quarter. So this is 22, 23 feet. And I'm looking at about 10 inches, all right? So remember on this scale, it's so small, three, six, nine, and then it's one more over, so it's 10 inches. So we're looking at 23 feet, 10 inches. Now we're gonna go to the eighth inch scale, so we're just gonna slide to the other end. I'm gonna line it up to the nearest, and in this case, it falls on a, a quarter, but remember that this is 52, 53, 54, 55 and right there's 56. So we count every one on this small scale. So this is 55 feet. And I'm looking at about two, four inches. All right, so 55 feet, four inches. Now remember that this one is so small that we count every two inches. All right, there's no way that we could figure out how to get one inch or uh, a three inch or anything like that. So it's just two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So this landed on the four inch on the second mark. So that's two, four. That's four inches. So I'm looking at fifty five feet, four inches. Now I'm going to switch over to the three inch. Now the three inch is so huge, we can see three, six, nine. All right. And then there's one inch, two inch, three inch. Well, in the one inch, we show a half, a quarter, and an eighth. So we can show eighths on this one. So we're gonna line this up to the, we can start with the zero. It ends on something weird. We're gonna have to go to the nearest three inch mark. All right, and that's not the nearest three inch mark. This is the nearest three inch mark. Sorry about that. Zero, one, two. So you have to be careful not to fall in between these like I just did. So we line it up to two, and then we're gonna follow up over here, and we have three, four, it's really getting tiny, three, four, and a quarter. three, no it's not four, three, three and a half, that's five eighths. Yes, okay, so it's one mark past the half. One mark past the half, so that is five eighths. So we're looking at two feet, three and five eighths. 
two feet, three and five eighths. Now we're gonna to slide to the other end, to the inch and a half, and let's look at this one. We have zero, one, two, three, all right? And then in the one inch, we have a half and a quarter. This is, remember we had eighths over here because it was double the size of this one. So we, the best that we can show is a quarter of an inch. So again, uh, on this one here, now we can we can line it up zero, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we f we follow to the nearest one. So that is four feet, and we have one, two, and looks like two and three quarters. Let me go to the bigger one here just to make sure. I'm gonna call it three quarters. So four feet, two, one, two, and then three quarters. Four feet, two, and three quarters. One thing that I need to mention here is when you're, uh, see if I can find a pen that makes a little bit darker. When we're writing, uh, when we're writing our numbers out here, four feet, two and three quarters of an inch. Always include everything. Don't drop something. Let's say, for instance, it might be two and three quarters. All right. So I'm going to put down zero, two and three quarters. All right. Always put that on your plan when you're doing when you're if you're drawing it out by hand or if you're doing it on CAD. Zero, two, and three quarters. That way, if the sun fades something, then we're not losing something that's still there. Same thing goes with with inches. Let's say that we had four feet, zero, and three quarters of an inch. Always put that zero in there. Always. And when you're calling it out, do the same thing. Don't just say four and three quarters. Well, that could be four and three quarter inches. That, you know, or that could be four feet and three quarter. If I say four feet and three quarter, then that could, you know, they could think that that's four feet. Uh, and just make sure that you put your zero in there when you're, when you're calling them out, when you're writing them or anything. Okay, guys, if you, if you have any questions, text me. Uh, Re, you know, go over this again and again and again until you understand how to do it. Make sure that you print out the sheet or the sheets that I'm going to be posting on Moodle and practice, practice, practice. Uh, you know, measure twice, cut once is the old saying in construction. So measure twice before you put your, your marks in there.